We're talking about some things that within my lifetime were complete science fiction. Before I die, we will probably see them come to fruition. So the program started around 1988, so it's over uh, 30 years old. My take on biotechnology is definitely learning the methods and the mechanisms behind all that biochemical stuff that we hear about all the time in research. Biotechnology really here at Ferris is really the looking at a molecular level at biological processes. Biotechnology is really the use of science to help society. So it's really the interface of science into technology. It's really the interface between molecular biology and biochemistry and chemistry. The most interesting aspect of our major is all of the research opportunities we get to go through. We get to go from the range of cellular biology to biochemistry and genetics and having that mix of everything makes us really well-rounded scientists. Probably the number one practical skill we do teach students, you know, as young biotechnologists would really be troubleshooting skills. Being able to go into a lab and start to work in a lab, things don't work correctly, troubleshoot that to figure out how you can actually make them work. I mean, that really is the foundation of science is trying something, it works, it doesn't work, try it again, alter your parameters, that type of thing. So, I, you know, I think independent of all the fancy equipment we have associated with the biotechnology program is teaching students how to think like a scientist. We have a lot, we have a lot of opportunity to learn troubleshooting skills that are absolutely essential in any area of science, including biotechnology. We at Ferris have a lot of hands-on experience. A tremendous amount of hands-on here at Ferris, working with equipment that if they went to a larger university they wouldn't get to put their hands on. So the practical skills that we learn in biotechnology are things like micropipetting, weighing things out, making sure that our solutions are correct, and we also learn how to use a bunch of amazing machines. For a research facility, we have excellent equipment. This is probably uh, where we have a lot of our highest tech equipment. Uh, we have chromatography equipment. We have uh, a very nice NMR. Lots of pieces of equipment that most universities of our size do not have. Probably the majority of our time is lab work. The lab I'm director of here gives many students hands-on experience with many different instruments. And that really is essential. That is a plus for Ferris. Our students here are able to directly work with many scientific instruments. Most institutions, you've got to be someone a lot higher than an undergraduate student to work with those things. When you get that aha moment is amazing. I'm not gonna lie, I've had that. I go up to my professors all the time like, listen, I actually had like the light bulb click on and I'm connecting things and it's great. <laughs> We are job ready right out of our bachelor's degree, which is really hard to say for a lot of people. A lot of people need to go to graduate school to get that higher up job, but as long as you have really nice experiences, good research experiences, and you get through this program, that's looked really highly upon, even just because we came to Ferris. Every aspect of society today is touched by science, and in particular, biotechnology. 